how's it going? Welcome back to another extra video this week because I just thought it'd be really nice to come down to chapel, to our church, Meadow Way, and have a little look at some of the Christmas decorations we've got going on and just sort of try to invite you into our church space vertically. Oh my gosh, <laughs> virtually. But I did also think as it's Christmas, it'd be a great time to talk about communion, which might seem weird because most people associate it with Easter, but bear with me. Communion is when bread is consumed and wine is drank to symbolize Jesus' body and blood when he died for us on the cross for our sins. In the book of Matthew, it tells us while they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and while he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. But what is the new covenant? Well, the new covenant is the promise that God makes to us that even though we sin, we can be forgiven through Jesus' death and resurrection from the cross. So some churches will do communion differently and here at Meadow Way, we do it every two weeks. So generally someone will lead us in communion, maybe by giving a prayer or saying a few words and often quoting things that Jesus said at the Last Supper. So for example, they might say, this is my body given for you and then tear it. And this is a physical symbol of Jesus' death for us. Next is the wine, but we actually use grape juice and I'll come to explaining why. So this little cradle of effectively shot glasses gets filled up with grape juice and it gets passed along, take one and pass on to the next person. So the words we might say regarding the blood of Jesus might be, this is my blood poured out for you. Take this in remembrance of me. So as I say, some churches do do things differently. In our church, for example, we use one loaf of bread. So we make sure that that bread is gluten free so that it's accessible for anyone who wants it. Same with the juice. We use grape juice and not wine because we want under 18s to be able to join in as well. So that's slightly different because some churches might say that you have to be baptized in order to join in communion. And if you're not baptized, you can sort of sit and observe. You might receive a blessing, a prayer but you wouldn't participate in taking the bread and the juice. Whereas at our church, we just want people to join in when they feel in their hearts that they'd like to do so. When Jesus is explaining what communion is, he says to them, do this in remembrance of me. Not do this in remembrance of me at Easter, me on the cross, my resurrection to come. He doesn't say any of that, it's just about him. And there's so much in him and who he was and the way he lived that we can remember. So that includes his birth, Christmas. It includes the way he lived, teaching people, healing people, doing miracles, just forming relationships with people, particularly outcasts of society. There is so much of Jesus that we can remember and be thankful for. So Christmas is a great time to do communion. So some things I would love you to think about and even comment down below your answers to if you're happy to do so is have you ever taken communion? What does it mean to you? Do you think you would like to get into communion? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you get a little bit of food for thought, literally thinking about some of the things that we've talked about in this video, but also have a very, very Merry Christmas and I'll see you in another video very soon.